Hi, I'm Sarah Baya, and welcome to my science class. For today's lesson, you are going to classify materials based in their ability to absorb water, float, sink, and undergo decay. At the end of our lesson, you are expected to describe and classify materials based on their ability to absorb water, identify and describe the materials that float and sink, and describe the materials that undergo decay. But before we begin, let us play four picks one word. I will show you four pictures and your goal is to form a word that best describes the given pictures. If you are ready, let's begin. If your answer is hard, you are correct. Now look at the next set of pictures. The correct answer is texture. And now for the third set of pictures. guess the word color, you are correct. Now, let's move on to the last set of pictures. Gravity divine, I can't believe my eyes, that thing can bring the tide, hey, around and around clockwise. For the last set of pictures, the correct answer is shape. If you got all four correct answers, congratulations! Everywhere we look, there are plenty of materials around us. At home, in school, malls, and even church. Let us focus on solid materials. Solid is one of the three main states of matter, along with liquid and gas. It is made up of small particles that are closely packed together. Just like other materials, solids have different properties, such as size, shape, texture, and color. Properties means the characteristics of materials. So for today's lesson, we are going to investigate other properties of solids. Are you ready to perform some activities? But as a safety reminder, be careful in doing the activity. Always ask and do the activity in the presence of an adult. For our first activity, you are going to identify solid materials that has the ability to absorb and repel liquid. Absorb means to take in or soak up any liquid. Repel means to move away. Get your ball pens and paper ready as you watch this simple experiment. For this activity, we are going to use the following materials. Plastic bag, tissue paper, tin foil, paper, cotton, and sponge. We're also going to use colored water and a spoon. So which material do you think will absorb the liquid? Let's watch the video.
After watching the activity, which materials absorb the liquid? If you answer tissue paper, paper, cotton, and sponge, you are correct. The ability of solid materials to absorb liquid is due to the small holes that allow the liquid to pass through. Materials that absorb water are said to be porous. Paper towel, sponge, and cotton wool are porous materials because they have large holes that enable liquids to pass through them, while plastic paper, foil, are non-porous materials because they are tightly packed together and cannot absorb the liquid. Now, let's have some challenge. Which of the following objects do you think will absorb the liquid? Good luck! Then lines, hot sun and clear blue skies The waves are crashing by And when she passed me by And gave a wink and smile And I was on cloud nine, love The way you move your hips and lick your lips The way you dip, you got me up so high yeah. And girls, you got Have you ever tossed some sticks in a pond? or played with some toys on a pail full of water? Either way, you probably found that not all materials act the same when they are on water. Some objects may sink while others float. For this activity, we need a big container full of water. Now, we need to put some objects in the water, like coin, stick, metal spoon, and plastic spoon. For our next activity, we are going to investigate what happens to materials if they are soaked in liquid. So to answer our question, why do objects sink or float? And lines, hot sun and clear blue skies The waves are crashing by And when she passed me by And gave a wink and smile And I was on cloud nine, love The way you move your hips and lick your lips The way you dip, you got me up so high And girls, you got that body with them curls like a bugatti So to answer our question, which materials float on water and which ones sink? Plastic spoon and stick float on water, 
while metal spoon and coin sink. Objects sink or float due to its density. Density is the amount of space an object has in relation to the amount of matter in that object. The stick and plastic spoon float on top of the water because they have loosely packed particles and not much mass so it's low in density and light, while the penny and metal spoon sink because they have tightly packed particles, making it more dense and heavy. Now it's time for challenge number two. Classify the materials according to whether they float or sink in a body of water. Good luck! Then lines, hot sun and clear blue skies The waves were crashing by And when she passed me by And gave her wink and smile And I was on cloud nine, love The way you move your hips and lick your lips The way you dip, you got me up so high And girl, you got that body with them curls like a bugatti Take a look at these two pieces of bread. Which do you think is fresh and which is not? What do you think caused the bread to decay? Decay means to rot or break down into smaller pieces. Let us watch the next video of some fruits and vegetables as they undergo decomposition. Hot sun and clear blue skies, the waves were crashing by. And when she passed me by and gave her wink and smile, and I was on cloud nine, love. The way you move your hips and lick your lips, the way you dip, you got me up so high. And girl, you got that body with them curls like a bugatti. Like a hula 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 
materials over time undergo a process called decomposition or decay. Just like what happened to our fruits and vegetables, after five days, they slowly break down into smaller pieces. Decay means to slowly destroy into bits in the presence of sunlight, water, air, temperature, and soil. Small organisms in the soil, water, and air feed on these materials, breaking them down into simpler forms. Some materials decay fast like fruit peelings, vegetable scraps, and paper, while other materials like spoon, plastic, and metal would probably take a few or hundreds of years before it is completely gone. For our last challenge, look at the following pictures and identify the materials that will decay quickly and the materials that will decay slowly. Good luck! Then lines, hot sun and clear blue skies The waves were crashing by And when she passed me by And gave a wink and smile And I was on cloud nine, love The way you move your hips and lick your lips The way you dip, you got me up so high And girl, you got that body with them curls like a bugatti Always remember to properly dispose materials and segregation should be observed. For our recap, in this lesson, you learned about the other properties of solid materials. Some materials have the ability to absorb water and some don't. Materials may also sink and float when you put them in a body of water. They also undergo change through the process of decomposition. So, did you enjoy our lesson for today? Don't forget to read more about our lesson in your textbook and module. And don't forget to answer all the activities in your worksheets. Thanks for listening. Goodbye! That's all for today. See you next time.